What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. The old rig, check her out. Still got the golf cart. She does good. Here is uh, what we'll be shooting at today. Here is what we will be shooting. And let me tell you what, I have an array of extremely expensive loads in here, y'all. Over the waterfowl seasons, one of the most asked questions, other than, you know, what's my go-to choke shotgun, you know, combination, is one thing, and one thing only, Bobby, is tungsten and bismuth worth the money? Oh, and not only that, but Bobby, is Black Cloud and all these other higher-end still loads, are they worth the money? And today we're going to go through that theory and just test, simply test, backyard, simple test. This is something that any of you could do at home safely. No, this isn't dangerous. You need to be at a good distance. We're shooting at wood, chunks of wood. Now, do not have uh, any metal objects like T-posts or anything behind the piece of wood. Make sure, because you don't want any ricochet. That's my disclaimer. But very quickly, we are booking, yes, all new clients that are interested in coming here and hunting this coming 22-23 fall waterfowl season. Uh, awesome availability right now. Limited availability in December. Some good stuff in November and some good stuff in January and February. Now, if you're interested in booking, I'm gonna tell you guys what to do. Go to sandhillflyways.com. It is always linked down in the description and fill out the inquire to book form. It'll send that message right to me. I will be the one, me or my wife, to call you directly and get a hold of you and try to make it happen. So, if you ever thought about coming and hunting with your boy, now's the time, now's your chance. Get a hold of me. Let's make it happen. All right. I think we're all ready to go. This is what we got going on. I have set up the uh, pieces of wood all, you know, in one row. And I've done the same thing with our shotgun shells. So we'll be able to see what is what as, you know, when we're done and we'll be able to compare the damage. First of all, if you guys like these videos and you're glad they're back, please smash a thumbs up button. Let's get this video, please. If you could get it over 3K, simply amazing. YouTube will see that. So like I said, with the wood, we got these set up the same exact way. And I'm going to go through here and describe why and what I brought. Now, first off, I brought my go-to shell. This is a Black Cloud number two shot, three inch, 1,450 uh, feet per second, ounce and a quarter. This is my go-to uh, duck goose load, regardless of what I'm doing, my go-to load for any duck and goose hunting. Next up is going to be Black Cloud High Velocity. Now, guys, this is 3 inch, uh, 1635 feet per second, ounce and an eighth, three shot. Go to my absolute go to shell for uh, water duck hunts. Absolutely, it's fast, fast, fast. So, when you got them divers or them widgeon or them till that skim the decoys real quick, 1630 feet per second at a three shot, just a tad smaller than the number two is my absolute go-to. When you hear this shot go off, it is so freaking loud. It's amazing. Next up, uh, I picked this one because a lot of people have asked me about bismuth lately. There's been a huge, huge push in the industry for bismuth. And this is, uh, this is the meat eater box, uh, federal bismuth, three inch, 1450 feet per second, ounce and three eighths three shots so again that is going to be a go-to big mallards you know any type of big mallards uh definitely duck hunting even the lesser hunts absolute destruction on them small canada geese next up this is where we get into the real expensive stuff bismuth is pretty darn pricey but when you're talking tungsten a lot of people just have never been able to shoot it and I'll be honest, if I wasn't partnered with Federal, big shout out to Federal uh, for making this video happen. So always supplying me with this awesome ammunition. Uh, this is three inch TSS, Black Cloud TSS. Yes, this is Black Cloud, but it's TSS. It is a tungsten slash steel mix. Little disclaimer, extends range past 50 yards. It's 60% number seven shot 
tungsten, and then it's 40% BB flight stopper steel, okay? And if you look on the side of the box, that is how it's stacked with the BB in front and this tungsten number seven in the back. So uh, it's a combination shot. Next up is gonna be the same exact combination, but in a, in a three shot and a nine shot. I really like that stuff too. And then now we're talking about this right here is premium heavyweight tungsten. This is a pure turkey load. And this is going to be, check it out, three inch, ounce and five eighths, sorry, I'm shaking, seven shot, pure tungsten. And then I decided to throw in some two and three quarter uh, tungsten buckshot too. So gun we're using, my Stoger M3500. We did the last video on it and you guys absolutely loved it. So I'm just gonna keep it going. All right, guys, first off, starting with uh, my go-to shell, the number two three-inch Black Cloud. Woo! Got it blew her back about two foot. That's another thing that we can look at, how hard it hits these pieces of wood. There we go. I was a little bit right, it looks like. Good BB penetration. That's what we like to see. All right, all right, all right. Next up is, uh, this is what I was talking about, that Black Cloud high velocity, 1,635 feet per second. Guys, listen to this shot. It is super loud. Three shot, by the way. Woo! I'm serious. When you have some trees around you and someone is shooting that load, it, the, the echo sounds insane. It didn't get hit as hard and go back as far, probably because it's a number three shot. I don't know, but look at that. We got some steel stuck in there. Tore it up pretty good. I hope you guys are liking these videos. I have some awesome ideas yet to come. All right, all right. All you guys out there that have been hounding me about bismuth, it's a heavier, uh, it's a heavier metal. That's about all I can tell you. It's heavier than steel. It's not as heavy as tungsten, I believe. So I don't know where it lies in how heavy it is compared to lead. One of you smart guys are gonna have to drop a comment down below and let me know. But this is three inch, 1450 feet per second, uh, bismuth, three shot. Wow, that hit way harder. Whoa, I'm learning something too. Not only you guys, watch, you can probably go back and watch, watch how hard these shells rock me. That one rocked me. Oh, that's a good looking pattern, look at that. Good looking pattern, that bismuth is bright and shiny. That's beautiful. That absolutely about rocked me. We got some uh, heavy loads coming up, y'all. No, all right, this is, uh, we're getting into tungsten land now. This is the BB and number seven, steel BB, tungsten number seven, three inch, ounce and a quarter. Dad, gum that came out heavier than that business did. Woof, boy howdy. Filling every shot, boom, boom, it just keeps getting heavier and heavier. Check out the damage. Oh yeah, hey, look at that. That's really interesting. Check that out, guys. So see those small holes? You can see it's the number seven. See the big holes? Those are the BBs. That's beautiful. All right, guys. <clears throat> Same exact shell. Only thing different, it's threes and nines, except, yes, it's threes and nines instead of BB and number seven. So we'll probably get to see that difference on the piece of wood. Holy smokers. I don't know what, that's definitely the heaviest yet. And I know I've said that every time, but look how far it blew the piece of wood back. Holy cow. Gee, many, yeah, so here you go. You got the number threes and then you got them number nines. Look how small them number nines are. 
So cool. So cool. I've been asked a lot lately, Bob, what is your premium? What is your go-to turkey load? Because it's turkey season, right? This right here, this is pure tungsten. No steel in here. This bad boy is extra heavy. Uh, this is a heavyweight ounce and five eighths, three inch, seven shot, pure grade A tungsten. And that right there, I want to look up the price of this shell. I'll put it right here down in the corner. The price per shell on this bad boy. Uh, guys, I've had a lot of people talk junk, you know, on high priced ammo. And the thing is, is, um, you know, it's up to you. You don't have to shoot the high price stuff, but I'll tell you what, when you become real accurate and you're a good, a good shooter and you try some of this good stuff, it's insane. I mean, it's lights out. So again, this one's going to hurt. Oh my Lord. You would think that was a three and a half. Goodness. There is no freaking turkey going to survive that deal. Whew. I'm making these videos quick, informative, not dragging them out. I hope you guys enjoy that part of these videos. Oh, man. Yeah, look at that. All number seven, pure tungsten. Absolutely started just shredding this wood. Woof, that's a dead turkey. Look how small that pattern is. That's deadly. That's... That's my go-to turkey shell. Turkey season is a uh, shotgun opener is actually in not too long at all. So we're going to be shooting them goblets. Well, we're pretty much through all of the premium, you know, like bird hunting shells, but I decided to, <laughs> I decided to throw this in the bag. This is a high density, nine, what's that say? Two and three quarter. Oh, that's what the nine, that's what the nine meant. Two and three quarter double lot buckshot, and uh, I've never shot buckshot ever. It says there's nine pellets in this bad boy. I don't think it's gonna go bang very hard. It's only a two and three quarter. Not bad. Had a little more bang than I thought. Let's go see the damage. I knew. I, I know. I shot right. That's for sure. I shot right, but look at the ones that it caught. Ooh, look at that, it just shredded through that wood. Okay, we gotta shoot another one. Boom, boom, that felt good. Those are hammers. That's a good coyote round there. You know, when there's only nine of them, not many hit. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight there. Hmm. Did it go through it? Oh dang, that one did. Whew. Woof, that would tear a coyote up. I know, wasn't the most entertaining video, but I think I learned something on this video. Uh, number one, I think one message that I wanna get across to a lot of people is, if you go to the shelves to buy ammo and they don't have the exact shot that you're wanting, you know what I mean, the exact load, the exact size, Guys, don't get bummed out. Even if they have a premium box, look, if that's all you can get, that's all you can get. These days, can't be picky sometimes. And sometimes you're gonna have to spend more money per box and maybe just be careful on your shots, you know, during that upcoming hunt. All these are a little pricey, but normal black cloud, it's the same. When you get into bismuth and tungsten, you're talking about, it's made for guys, for folks out there that, just you know maybe been hunting a while do have the extra money to just see what it's about and i'll tell you what uh if i have or had or whatever have the extra money i'm gonna buy good loads absolutely good loads now like snow goose hunting or pigeon hunting somewhere you're just kind of spraying and praying nah but you know honker hunting up north when there's just nothing but big honkers uh turkey hunting um anything like that get you a load that you can trust and all these loads today did their job but i will say once we got into tungsten and bismuth world you started seeing it really uh just start pounding that wood 
that sounded horrible really tearing up this wood out here and uh doing some real damage the last tungsten load the number seven full tungsten the weight of the shell is not even comparable that tungsten is so heavy it comes out and it's it comes out maybe not as fast but it's going to go twice as far with twice as much energy so hope you guys learned something today hope i answered some questions if not drop them down below in the comment section i've been down there a lot lately answering people's questions and maybe one of your questions will spark an idea for me to do a new video so if you have any recommendations for these types of videos put them down there as well but thank you guys for being here again if you want to book a hunt to come with me here to central kansas shooting mallards widgeon teal any type of duck every type of goose get a hold of me sandhillflyways.com like i said fill out the uh, inquire to book form and i will be getting a hold of you oh and a big question we accept any group size two four six eight ten twenty thirty whatever thank you all for being here subscribe if you haven't i am very proud to be doing these videos again and i want to get in some sticky sticky uh subjects out there you know subject matter with shotguns and and ammo and, and stuff like that if you have an idea please let me know but until next time